For this bird feeder, we'll need some bird seed, a toilet roll, scissors, a butter knife, some twine, and some yummy, yummy honey, preferably Australian made. Alrighty, so our first step is to take our toilet roll and then take our honey. Now it's really important that we're not using raw honey, we're using what's called pasteurized honey because raw honey has a whole bunch of little bacteria in it that can actually make our birds very, very sick. So we're going to take a little bit of honey on our butter knife and start spreading it around the outside of the entire toilet roll. Now this can get very, very messy, so it might be a good idea to have some paper towel on standby or a wet little cloth to wipe your hands. But otherwise, just don't be afraid to get your hands all sticky and sweet. You can always lick your fingers afterwards. Now once we've finished spreading that honey over the entirety of the outside of our roll, we're then going to essentially have some little birdseed fairy bread. So we're gonna roll that honey coated toilet roll in that bird seed until it's nice and fully covered all over the outside of the roll. Feel free to really press hard in to the seed to make sure it all sticks there. So we now have a nice covered toilet roll. Now by this point your hands will most likely be sticky and covered in seeds so it might be a good idea to go and give them a wash. Now that we've got nice clean hands, we can take a length of our twine. This is the same jute twine I used for the orange bird cedar. So again, because we're only using biodegradable twine and a cardboard toilet roll, this is all fully degradable and will break down in your green bin. So we're gonna cut a nice long length of thread and poke that right down the middle of our toilet roll till it comes out the other side. You can then give the toilet roll a little shimmy along until it's sort of vaguely in the middle of our twine there. And then we can just tie a nice little tight knot with both ends tying them together so that we can then hook that toilet roll over a tree branch, over whatever you can find in your garden. It's not very heavy, so you won't have too much trouble supporting it on even the flimsiest of twigs. And there you have it, that is our toilet roll bird feeder that you can make yourself in just a couple of minutes and you should have pretty much everything that you need for this at home already. Now, I know that everyone's been hoarding their toilet paper lately so there's no excuse to waste any of those toilet rolls that you'll have lying around. Get a little production line going, find all the toilet rolls you can, nice long paper towel rolls also work for this and will create an even bigger bird feeder that you can pop out in your yard and try and coax in maybe some bigger cockatoos like sulfur crested cockatoos or galahs. Now the types of birds that will really enjoy this, like I said, cockatoos, even lorikeets, they usually eat nectar but they will love this sweet little honey that's holding those seeds on. Now I do like to use a various size seed, so we've got some little seeds and big seeds in there that helps fill all of those little gaps and sticks to every last little piece of honey. Now don't stress if you don't have any twine at home because you can actually just use the same method, coat those toilet rolls and then instead of putting it on string, pop it straight onto a branch. So there you have it. Here are some of my lovely little bird feeders made from toilet rolls. So you can see here I've just threaded them straight over some branches, gives the birds lots of little perches to stand on while they're chomping away at those and this encourages really good foraging behaviour. It's a lot trickier for them to eat than just having it out of a bowl.